introduction to uh, Earth uh, I am a poet and I prepared this lovely uh, poem for you. So what I'm interested in uh, in performance poetry is defamiliarization. So I've, I've went to lots of gigs. Uh, we, what I really like about poems is when they're looking at something really simple but in a different way. And making me look at things in a different way. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you a poem. Uh, and I hope that you guess what I'm talking about. Okay? I wish I was a snail. Then I'd have a house on my back with its roomy spiral storage space. Sadly, I'm only a slug with my sausage fingers sliced by sensory caliber. I miss you. Without you, I'm like a zebra without its stripes. The snail with a house on my back with spiral storage space. Is that about living in a house? So it's, it's, in a it's an object yeah. that has the room in that's the little storage space that you have on your back. Back back side. Yeah. And it has it has stripes. So what make would it be? Yeah. Okay. So looking at an object in uh, so what I want you to do today is we're gonna write our words about a really simple object, okay? So what I want you to do Objects. Objects is first make a list of five or more objects that you can so either you cannot live without them or they intrigue you or they might annoy you despite them okay so I just want you to list a few objects maybe things that you have in your house maybe that you see on the way to work okay so you have one you have one minute to make a list of Five objects in your house or Okay? So once you have a list of a few objects, I want you to uh, choose one and I'm going to give you three minutes to describe that object and describe its features. Okay, so think about how does it look, how can it help your life, how does it feel, so think about how it affects all the senses. Um, how do you feel without it? And if you like it, why do you like it so much? So I'm going to give you three minutes. And I have, so here we're not trying to write a poem. We're not trying to be uh, Shakespeare or Dickens. Uh, we're just coming out with everything that we can think of about objects. So the rule is for you to write without stopping for three minutes. And you're not allowed to put the pen down. And if nothing comes to mind, you have to write nothing on the paper. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So now I'm going to give you five minutes to uh, refine. So le level one was just writing everything that comes to mind. Level two is we're refining. So if I were uh, if I were to ask you to explain that object to someone else without using the words that you just highlighted, how would you do it? So one way to do it is to use um, synonyms or words that have the same meaning or maybe using words that are more specific and that can help us have a, a more precise picture of, of that object. So for instance, if you say, my bag is blue, well actually you could maybe think about what kind of blue it is. So is it ocean blue, marine blue, and what kind of uh, feeling it kind of takes you. So once, once you, you've you've worked on that, you can start thinking about is there anything that looks like that object that could be that could share so many features so for instance, my back has stripes like a zebra and it's like on my back like a snail would be good with it so now what we're going to do is we're going to look back at everything that we've written and we're going to choose the best bits and I want to pour maximum egg lines. So it's uh this the maximum. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Don't panic! <laughs> okay. So maximum 
like some of that? Hang on, Jake. Can you say Jake and Hanukkah again? Don't panic. So, so, uh, so the idea is that you have only eight lines, you've written lots of stuff, but try and see what's the, what are the best bits and just force yourself to write something small so then you don't have to go on for wages. Um, and so in my poem I'm addressing myself to the, to the bag. Uh, it's like, almost like an old, yeah. like a, a love letter to my bag. Uh, and so feel free to address yourself to that, to that uh, object or you can just, if it's something you like, it be a rent or it could be like a letter of complaint, like you can be free in how you want it to, uh, how you want to craft it. So the, 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 um, the advice for crafting would be can you think of a good starting line, so a striking first line? Think of uh, maybe some lines that get repeated throughout, uh, or some words that come back. Um, and maybe one thing is trying to be as specific as possible and avoid cliches. Uh, if you're finished, um, we're going to perform those poems to each other. So, Let's try and, and see if you can think uh, of some, uh, so maybe some, some actions that would uh, complement what you did. So in my backpack I was trying to, so I miss you, I wish I was a hell, and then I have a house on my back with a spiral storage space, the three stripes. So uh, we're not doing a uh, hand drum here, so I don't want anyone to be doing things like that. But <laughs> Why not? Clarifying with like a few, uh, a few uh, movements. So maybe choose three bits in your poem where you think you could have a gesture. Like for instance, I have a poem where I, I. I'm talking about my name, which has the two dots, and I'm talking about my E looking like a spider, so I'm doing this now with my hands and that. And it's kind of clarifying with them. Like the E like that. What's, what does that mean? So, I don't know if you know my name. There's the little dots there. Yeah. So my, my E is like a spider. My pen swirls on paper like your finger on the shell. Yeah. My E bears two dots called tremas, just like the eyes at the end of the nails and the nails. Okay? So like that's a really simple gesture, yeah. but then like kids when I go to schools, every time they see me they're like, because it's like a, a, a easy thing. So there's probably something in there that you can find like a, uh, something that works quite nicely. And think about how you're going to perform it in terms of tone, pace. So if you're going to be like doing some kind of a, um, race with your bike, then probably you're going to be wanting to have that like uh, fast. It's not like that one. Pace. Well, I'm just hearing I know, I know about the lines. And <laughs> okay, so. We just prepare ourselves because before the final course. Okay, round of applause for Lucy. Restless and retained. No, yeah. Restless and retained. My orca breaks up the rhythm. Caught in the wind, he spokes his fins and suspended from the horse he won him, dripping fuel and breaking up the buffalo. And like a buffalo head. Nice. Yeah? Well done. Can you do that? <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Here you go. I don't, I don't have any um, gestures of mine. Okay. Because it's about something small, and I feel like if there's any gestures, it would be fake. Okay. Oh. Fair enough. Fair enough.
Yes, that's good. What specific biscuit is it? Digestive. Digestive. 